Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful 100, 18 June to 24 June. Before I move any further, let me give you some plan as I see a lot of students asking me what are our plans for uh, GKBAGA. So what we will do is complete the pending June, one more week we know is left. That will be completed this week itself. In the coming week, we will start the July Gainful 100. Along with that, what I will do, I will give you three months, which is April, May and June, Banking Awareness Separate PDF. With that, I also have to, you know, close on the April uh, gainfuls. Uh, I, I remember that. What I will do, I will give you the PDF for the first 15 days and from 16 to 23rd, I think that is one week, which I will also make a video on. So, you will have complete uh, GK material from April onwards both the current affair part and also the banking awareness part. If needed, I'll also try to give you some PDF uh, in some form or, or you know, I think I've already done a couple of sessions on your economic survey and budget. Please, please go through that and I'll, I'll urge you to go through that also that that's very likely to come. Uh, it's, uh, State Bank of India traditionally is known not to test your static awareness and they stick to it. If you will see even what has happened in the prelims so far, they have not tested on syllogism. You know, it might happen that the next session, the very next session, they ask you a syllogism question, but it looks like from past two years, they have done away with it. And they were the first one to do away with uh, your, you know, computer awareness also. And they kept computer awareness and then all your general knowledge became mostly relevant in and around uh, things pertinent to banking. And they hardly tested anything from your static. Uh, I will not ask you to not at all give any attention to static, but do that. Uh, set your priorities right, finish what is more relevant to this exam first and then go into your static awareness. Okay, so with that, let me start my today's session. I think enough Gyan already. Uh, let, let us go and start our uh, session. Here are your first five questions and I'll shortly uh, give you the answers. Okay, here are your answers. PM inaugurated 11.2 kilometer. That that's you know quite quite a long distance from your. This is the extension of Green Line in the Delhi Metro. Now we have metros everywhere. I'm not sure if this could be asked, but yeah, this this is significant for metro. 11.2 kilometers is it's significant length. Swachh Bharat Sarvekshan or Swachh Sarvekshan 2018 report was released by PM Modi and top two position were again retained by Indore and uh, Bhopal. Indore is definitely doing very well in cleanness. Uh, center has sanctioned 1800 crore for tourism project for various districts of Himachal Pradesh. So they really want to boost tourism there. It's just a wonderful place. Let, let's see if, if something good is done with this money. I, I, I sincerely believe something will happen. Three days photo exhibition on Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao campaign. Swaksh Bharat Abhiyan Khelo India Khelo was inaugurated in Chandigarh by Sri Vijay Sampala. Okay, uh, we know now you will see a lot of such PR activities happening government uh, next year is the election year. So you will uh, see all, all the good thing that the government has done. They will try to showcase it. So this is one of such event. The annual Sindhu Darshan festival began in Ladakh region of Jammu and Kashmir on the banks of river Indus. I think this was inaugurated by LK Advani if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's let's uh, try these five. Okay, here are your answers. Tamil Nadu has, has done well in your Smart India Hackathon 2018. That's that's uh, here. Vasundhara Raje was confirmed the Chief Minister Year Award. I think this is Scotch. Mahesh Kumar Jain has taken charge as the fourth RBI Deputy Governor. I, I, I really want you to remember his name. This was the prize for incompetence that he had shown at uh, IDBI. And now I think that is again in uh, news because of the LIC takeover, right? Uh, as for the report, a 150 million year old turtle fossil was discovered in China. This is this is again interesting. A farmer just, you know, doing his daily chores there finds a 150 million old turtle. Okay, Gujarat CM announces Surya Shakti Yojana for farmers worth 870 crores. So what, what is happening in this Surya Shakti, uh, Surya Shakti uh, project is basically uh, use of solar power that that is what is getting encouraged i think they, they even have a plan of you know if, if they invest certain amount they will buy back the electricity at certain rebate 
uh, at a rate which you know will translate into subsidy etc that, that that's a noble uh, cause for the environment as well as for the farmers okay try these okay here are your answers this is 40 billion a pm modi inaugurated urban project worth over 40 billion in madhya pradesh cabinet has given not to set up private industrial park as dta domestic tariff area to be built by tata steel in gangjam district odisha so what exactly is this domestic tariff area you would have heard about special economic zone right secs they were in news so what what happens in sec it is treated as you know not really a part of the country everywhere that goes here all, all the production that happens goes to the export only it does not disturb the domestic market so all, all the subsidies etc everything that is given in all, all the special benefits that are given here are only for exports dt on the other hand the these things whatever you know if, if the special land is marketed also they they can they have the right to come and participate in the domestic market that is how dta is different from S vice president shri m venkaiya naidu led two days national consultation on farm sector issues in pune maharashtra we know this is this is a problem area our farmers are distressed we have to do something to uh, increase the productivity lower their debt etc so a lot of things are happening let's hope you know, uh, something good comes out of it. Center has banned AQIS and affiliate of Al-Qaeda Islamic State. I think this is Al-Qaeda in Indian subcontinent. So that's uh, getting banned uh, in India. They, they And rightly so, they are trying to brainwash the youth and they want to join in, in, the, in their campaign. Uh, unfortunate, it's really unfortunate. Uh, power ministers... Our our youth really really need to be educated against such uh, uh, indoctrination and brainwashing. Okay, uh, Power Minister Sri R K Singh has launched campaign to promote energy efficiency. AC manufacturers are advised to keep default setting at 24. This might be made compulsory. There's an interesting thing even even for us as a consumer. If you increase it by one degree centigrade, you cut down your bill by almost six percent. That that is what it is you know uh, seen so people uh, saying our, our body temperature is what 37 degree 24 25 26 is, is pleasant for us anything above 30 we start feeling that uh, discomfort but people many offices also they have it set like you know almost 18 degree 6 degree will translate to almost 36 degree uh, reduction in their electricity bill and also the greenhouse uh, gases which are contributed because of ac uh, all, all these things should should be cut and it should come down so that that's again a good good step i would say try these okay this was quite expected andhra pradesh uh, cm chandrabahu naidu most likely it has to be in the capital city amravati quota featured in guinness book of world record 1.5 lakh people participating in the yoga sessions mongolia launched the construction of the first oil refinery 1 billion indian aid that's that's huge uh, amount and india is trying to play a big game here it, it'll happen in like 2025 years trying to develop mongolia a neighbor of china and you know something what china does by developing pakistan so i, I think it, it's still a long shot but yeah step in the right direction again uh, tourism minister attended incredible india road shows in united state that that's again to promote tourism i think he is from kerala he also attended a Malayali's uh, you know conference there first ever UK India week 2018 was held in London to promote bilat bilateral trades and investment so on one hand we have this and then you will read about uh, you know London or UK uh, putting us or doing away with that tier 4 uh, visa requirement for the student that, that was something sad I'll get into that when we reach there try these okay here are your answers this is uh, wwf india launches first ever nature themed comic book the great indian nature trail with uncle bicky so this will be a comic book also i have I, I i really am interested to see what what will happen here what what i have read is this will uh, you know uh, uncle bicky will be along with his uh, two more associates they will be going through all the uh, you know forest etc they will be identifying animals and it will be uh, 
it will not be fiction it will be real uh, things which will be talked about and it will be interesting for kids they will uh, get to learn a lot in 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 a say slightly easier way they will think they are looking at a comic book but at the same time they will be gaining a lot of knowledge india's first robotic telescope to explore the universe is named growth india it's at hanle in ladakh le ladakh hanle in ladakh so that that's how you can remember that growth india fiki was awarded at x international it forum russia that's uh, one of the biggest forums there for information technology everything related to information technologies is discussed there all, all, all the best brain all the best uh, institute are there and they discuss about it and fiki was awarded uh, that that's good lnt finance has increased the rural focus and has opened thousand meeting center in kolkata for micro loans this is there i think doing well there meeting center thousand meeting center i think uh, they they must be really doing well otherwise there is no need for so many meeting centers indian contingent part of un peacekeeping mission in south sudan was awarded for selfless service so this is again our our peacekeeping force are known world over to have the best behavior and and they really uh, do some selfless work try these okay here are your answers this is vanijya bhavan uh, why why this was in news was because they have done minimum damage to the nature almost uh, 70% of the trees were untouched or replanted and and more and more trees were planted there i think there was controversy if they want to make uh, the new bhavan there they have to take care of environment you know it's, it's major concern these days so let the foundation stone of vanijya bhavan at delhi's akbar road pm modi inaugurated the nature center in new york i think this is owned by subhash chandra z, z, z group again it is uh, helping people to connect with the nature i think yoga etc everything everything is part of the entire setup there HRD has given not to set up inter university yoga center in S Vyasa varsity varsity is nothing but university S Vyasa i think it's uh, Swami Vivekananda yoga anusandhan sansthan or something something uh, uh, similar to that so it's it's all about uh, yoga sansthan which is uh, getting that inter university yoga center center of excellence in maritime and ship building has set up labs in mumbai and vizag Uh, so whenever you see ship building or any any news related ship it, it is generally either vizag that's visakhapatnam or mumbai google has introduced who else uh, will introduce offline mode for chrome for android okay uh, try these here are your answers this is sushma swaraj and nirmala sitaraman would visit us for 2 plus 2 dialogue so basically your external foreign uh, external minister and your defense minister similarly your defense minister and external uh, uh, minister from us they will be talking on issues and they will they will come up with uh, you know agenda maybe for the president and the prime minister to meet and take the talk forward there's something that we are already doing with japan 2 plus 2 i think yeah Uh, now we have started with uh, us also hdfc bank featured in branzi ranking at the 60th slot with a brand valuation of 20.8 billion so this is this is huge so 20.8 uh, billion and hdfc i think is only one in the top 100 from india ministry of women and child development received the best performing social sector ministry scotch uh, award for its achievement and initiative i think the same award which vasundhara raje uh, got this this is an independent think tank but if you look at the website it looks like more like getting cozying up with the government uh, that that's how maybe they are funded etc hrd ministry has issued fresh guidelines for selection of teachers for national award initially they had to send it to their state government and then state government would in turn send it to the central government but now it's it's uh, they can send it directly paul polman would succeed sunil mittal as icc this icc is uh, the international chamber of commerce chairman paul polman is unilever group head okay try these okay so what exactly is the humanitarian forensic uh, that's world international center for humanitarian forensic would launch in gandhinagar gujarat so what happens generally when there is earthquake etc some 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 of the people they get disfigured or you know the body gets rotten so the forensic here will 
help in identifying those victims. The new national target for offshore wind power would be 5 gigawatt by 2020 to 30 gigawatt by 2030. That that's, looks like very small looking at the target that we have for you know 2022 but this is still good this has potential we have seen that you know in in many countries like netherland etc the offshore is also picking up and the cost is substantially going down this is good initiative we are we are also catching up there i think initial interest for just one gigawatt was proposed but now it's revised to five gigawatt for 2022 and 30 gigawatt for 2030 this, this would be interesting uh, your entire peninsular uh, uh, India, I think, especially the west coast, it, it seems it's, it's suitable for that. Union Commerce Ministry is to set up special turmeric cell. Whenever you hear this word, curcumin, that's, that's the chemical composition which is having immense, immense medical benefit. So, antibacterial... Uh, Union Commerce Ministry, so this is a turmeric cell and what, what they want to see is in northeastern region, what, what has happened is typical content is almost 8% whereas in Telangana etc is just 5%. So they want to see why, why that shortfall and how they can increase it. Uh, RK Singh inaugurated 1500 kilowatt solar power plant by Delhi Sikh Gurudwara Management Committee DSGMC at Gurudwara Rakib Ganj Sahib. So what, what, uh, why I have put this is just, just uh, this is again an environmental concern. Wherever the government is finding, and, and that's that's again a good thing that they are doing. They are really doing good in the terms of renewable. If you see the last government was obsessed with uh, nuclear power. This is one good thing I can really tell about this government. They are focusing a lot on renewable. That's, that's the future. So wherever they find this, you know, huge open space, etc., they are trying to put their uh, solar plant there. Okay. Kerala government launched scheme to offer micro loans at low interest rate in the cooperative sector. This is again now government stepping in, helping uh, to offer micro loans. Yeah. Try these. Okay, here are your answers. United States has quit United Nations Human Rights Council citing UNHRC's hypocrisy. I think uh, the immigrant program where the babies were separated, etc. I think that caused a lot of furor in the country and, and the, these guys have uh, just decided to quit. Uh, our our uh, proclaimed uh, lunatic, he is he's really doing a lot of damage. I, I, I really don't understand how, how people there are letting him do all these things and he's really getting away with all. Some people are born... Uh, born with some enormous luck. India hiked import duty on 29 US uh, product. This was in retaliation. If you remember in the last uh, Gainful 100, I talked about the news wherein they had put 10% on aluminium and steel. And I told you they, they, they will, India was you know contemplating some retaliatory action and we have done it on 29 US product. And most of them are agricultural products. So as US is showing that this industries are getting affected, India is showing that you know our agriculture is getting affected so let's let's fall in line now that that's good brave step pepsico has has and not been in news for a long time i have read pepsico in news for after a long time 4.26 thankfully for good reason uh, 5 mil, uh, 4.26 million grant to ngo water aid for communities of karnataka andhra and kerala by the summer of 2020 so more uh, then step towards uh, maybe water harvesting or increasing or or um, ensuring that you know water supplies reach maximum people not some siha appointed new bank negara governor this is new bank negara bank negara this is if you remember i think ivps had asked a uh, named a bank in bangladesh and asked where this bank is from bank negara you know this this is the central bank of malaysia just, just keep in mind I, I i somehow find this to be an interesting question if if uh, this this looks like a likely question. This was in News Bank Negara, Central Bank of Malaysia. Just, just keep in mind. Coco, the gorilla who mastered sign language, died in California. So I think there are two deaths of uh, intelligent element, uh, animals or the popular animal. One is Coco and I think one or Angutan has died uh, somewhere in Australia. Okay, try these. Okay, here are answers. Uh, JP Nadda, Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, released National Health Profile and National Health Resource Repository. What else? A Union Health Minister H, I had given you a blanket, had to be health implemented.
Implementing the Indian National Strategy for Standardization was announced in 5th National Standard Conclave and where it was held, it was held in New Delhi, like many, many, many things. Chief Minister's subgroup was constituted to coordinate, constituted to coordinate policy approaches for agriculture and MNREGS to double farmer income by 2022. This is the vision. This is, this is, you know, for, for a long time, we know that uh, we want to uh, double uh, looks very unlikely if you ask me honestly looks very unlikely the kind of infrastructure that is needed to do that uh, we, are, we are far far from there okay good at least some some uh, some steps are taken in that direction uh, as per nhm report women bear uneven burden of family planning through sterilization this is you know roughly 93 to 94 percent it's it's women who are sterilized and hardly uh, six and percent uh, men that, that's very uneven uh, Vishwabharati University would be setting up yoga gram with central uh, grant. So one we have already seen that uh, uh, Vivekananda University. It is also getting that uh, yoga cell and here yoga gram. Vishwabharati University. Okay, try these. Okay, Haryana government gives star ranking to Panchayat on seven parameters. I think even rainbow is. Uh, attached to the same uh, ranking parameter. KVIC has adopted Jagatpur village in Delhi for Swakshita Avyan. Shillong becomes the 100th smart city. I think this was stuck at 99 for a long time. Finally, Shillong makes, the, uh, makes it as the 100th smart city under smart city mission. India and Russia would hold tri-service military exercise. That's Indra. So this is a comprehensive exercise. All, all three, uh, our, all three defense forces are there. Six new Spider species were discovered in Sri Lanka named after N. Blyton characters. So this was spider. So a lot of species getting discovered these days. Chalo, uh, try these. Here are answers. Jeff Bezos becomes the world richest man and by a large margin. I think the next one is within 100 billion. So he is now like hands down the riches and looks highly unlikely that it will change uh, very quickly. If you look at all the rating, I think he was not there in 2014 anywhere. 2015, he was there in like top 10 and then three. And by now, I think he's like way ahead of anyone. Gradual progress. And then now he is really uh, ruling the list now. RBI has revised the priority sector lending norms for promoting PMAY. So, a uh, lot, a lot of people who can invest their their loans will not get into uh, maybe the NPS etc. They will tweak some norms there to encourage the uh, Avath Yojana. AU Small Finance Bank would raise thousand crore from Temasek to fuel growth. Temasek is the uh, sovereign fund of Singapore government. As per as per UIDI, ten thousand bank branches and eight thousand post offices have been enrolled to Aadhaar facility. HRD Minister Prakash Javadkar has launched the National Digital Library on National Reading Day. That's 19 June. I think the reading month itself was celebrated for entire month from 19 June to maybe I think 18 July. Uh, all, all the students are increased different places. All the programs are done to encourage reading. Reading, reading shapes us and that, that's uh, very important and it's rightly encouraged. Try these. Okay, so it's going to be the sales tail which will be used for world tallest girder rail bridge. NASCOM launched Women Wizard Rule Tech program to support women techies. Central Water Commission would team up with Google for flood forecasting. A lot, lot of uh, flood forecasting I think we had in our last game full 100 also where soil type etc would be tested. Google has launched training program for journalists to create awareness against misinformation and fake news. I, 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 I really, you know, could not understand this news. Do you really think these people do not know they are spreading fake news? This is like the entire machinery setup to do exactly that. I don't know how Google will be able to help there. A conference on international decade for action, water for sustainable development 2018 to 2018, 2028 was held in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Please try to understand this is going to be big news going forward. We have seen the crisis in Cape Town and, and many, many big towns would, would be, you know, coming into 
the grip of water scarcity okay try these okay so sikkim government has announced ar rahman as his brand ambassador uh, ca <laughs> chief economic advisor arvind subramanian finally has resigned so he has i think covered for the government for long and he felt like chalo bhai election se pehle pata nahi kya kya karayenge let's let's just uh, you know call it quits and and move back to us microsoft has acquired video discussion platform flipgrid which uses 20 million teachers and student across the world had never heard of it looks looks like a nice tool but not sure how how relevant it will be in the indian context but yeah they have acquired it world first known manta ray nursery was discovered recently what exactly this this looks like a b2 bomber and they have a long tail if you remember this not exactly the manta ray is one of the you know class of animals i'll say uh, not a biology expert but yeah they have a long tail if you remember one very famous uh anchor who used to do lot of you know he used to catch crocodile etc he was stung by it. so it was not manta ray a different ray uh, because of which this is mostly harmless but we did not know about its uh, adolescent behavior and this nursery might really help uh, understanding that vice president m venkaiah nadu has received book ved vigyan alok i am really interested in this i have never read vedas i'll be really interested i i hear that you need to understand sanskrit for that so this this book again kind of summarizes a lot of thing there i hope it is not tampered with and it's, it's a voluminous book and and written in very uh, difficult sanskrit and supposedly contains all the gyan of the vedas it it would be interesting read okay try this yeah here are your answers that's uh, as per cipri nine nuclear countries have 14935 warhead i don't think you, this, this itself will be enough for the destruction of the world cipri is uh, stockholm based uh, international peace research institute so they have come up with this report government plans to expand bpo promotion scheme and plans largest national data center in bhopal we know there is a lot of uh, fuss over where where our data should be stored and also of course uh, some more employment could be given and good news uh, cop connect a mobile app for telangana police was uh, police was launched recently it will be completely encrypted like like most most of the app uh, chat are and th this will help uh, police connect with Uh, you know interdepartmental talk how how you know one department is handling a problem there so this will be more interactive i don't know how, honestly how how it will be used but the at least idea is idea is good haryana has approved the scheme to provide 8000 monthly assistance to female is uh, asset victims chatisgarh government approves merger of around 1.5 lakh shiksha karmis with state school education this is this is really a good news this this these guys are like temporary for almost over 8 years so all those over 8 years will be now uh, you know put with the uh, the mainstream teachers they will also get those seventh pay recommendation etc so these poor guys just think they were teaching for almost 8 years and they were not even permanent so over a lakh would be done in the first round 1.2 lakh and then another 48000 in the next round try this okay here are your answers punjab government has op offered free sapling through mobile app called i hariyali uh, i'm not sure if this is a word uh, play it's, it's a pun where i is for the internet and also i as in you know it has come hariyali uh, well but this is this is a program which is uh, called tandurust punjab uh, this is you know to counter your fit india program of center you know it's bjp government whereas uh, tandurust punjab it is it's it's congress government there so it is uh, unless uh, unlike the fit which is only talking about the mental and the physical well being this talks about clean air uh say clean water uh, non contaminated food and physical and mental well being of the people so that's as the comprehensive program that punjab government wants to do i think yesterday only would have read in the news also that the dope test is now compulsory for all all employees in punjab very good we know that urta punjab what happened uh during the last uh, 
you know, five, five, ten years in Punjab. So this is good step if we can do something about it. International Information Communication Technology uh, ICT 2018 was held in Kathmandu. Seychelles had denied a joint project with India to develop naval ways on Assumption Island. So this, you know, in the next gainful, this will change. Initially, they had declined the request. But I think uh, this was because of a lot of protests from their uh, opposition parties in, in the country. But finally, I think they have now agreed that that would be, again, part of the news in our next again full. Assumption Island, it becomes very important. Uh, India has that, you know, security for all, uh, Sagar uh, security and growth for all in the region that that's program that India wants to do is it's again countering the China's move. So even we want to have our naval bases in these strategic locations. Okay, UK has excluded India from student visa norm. This is what I had talked about when we talked about you know improving diplomatic ties. This is but in India is also a, to be blamed for this. What has happened is they want India to sign. Um, uh, say a uh, MOU wherein they can deport people who illegally stay in India and they were supposed to confirm the identity of the people that yes the, these these are Indian people and they have overstayed visa within 15 days so I think uh, Kiran Rijizu they said you know 15 days is unrealistic you have to give us more days and they were like no you, you really have to if someone has overstayed and he's come from you know showing that he's got the visa from the India you have to take them back so th that was the entire uh, story but now it will become really difficult for the student to get uh, visa it will not be uh, the same anymore india has gifted donier aircraft to seychelles and plans to explore trilateral relations with seychelles and france this is donier aircraft i think this is uh, hindustan aeronautics limited hl produces this this is uh, kind of it's a surveillance aircraft if you have to say so seychelles having long seashore it it you know if it moves over it can track it, it has the radar system etc and if, if a boat is coming which is not authorized it can know so again it was maybe to please to get into that uh, plan of uh, you know uh, allowing india to make that naval base in the assumption island okay let's let's try these okay here answers is rbi not sebi which has altered the relatives definition so a lot of uh, this was used as a loophole and a lot of money was remitted out. That is what RBI, you know, suddenly saw where is this all money going to and then it realized it has to, you know, really tweak the uh, definition of relatives there. World Bank approved 700 million to Bangladesh government for fourth primary education program. That, that's a big amount. I hope again like any fund it's utilized yes bank has got sebi approval for custodian of security business and thereby enhances market offering that's it's a uh, good news for yes bank second tranche of bharat 22 etf was launched for raising 6000 crore i think you remember what that bharat etf i told you some 22 publicly uh, listed or or pub, uh, government owned psus or or government entities or uh, uh, under Suti, which is special undertaking, all, all those shares are listed here, and then it is sold. And th this is one of a different way of disinvesting. Mahbuba Mufti has resigned as JNK Chief Minister. We know BJP had withdrawn the support there. Try these. Okay, so this is now become the fastest computer. So this is like 210 to the power of 15. That's pentaflops. Uh, that's a million billion 200 it, no, calculation per second this is this is like huge uh, uh, superpower this is this is you know I, I think this is specifically made for the age of ai as as uh, you know the scientists here they have said this is built you know bottom up thinking about its use and application in 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 the age of ai uh, how machine learning uh, can help uh, do faster and more accurate calculation also it is already tested with some weather prediction etc it says the pattern of cloud etc could be modeled more accurately and we can know the behavior and with the climate change becoming concerned this 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 is uh, we we need such powerful computers indian coast guard ship rani rush money was commissioned in vishakhapatnam that's vizag i told you most of the ship news you will have here at uh, you know Vishakhapatnam, world oldest Sumatran orangutan Puan dies at 62. Perzu, very famous uh, you know uh, orangutan, oldest and and the uh, very famous one which was there in the Perzu. 
Menka Gandhi and Hansraj Ahir launched the book title Legal Processes for Police in Respect of Crime Against Children. I told you, I think Menka Gandhi, I think this is again uh, the ministry. They got the award under Scotch. I told you they're doing a lot of, lot of uh, good work. Indian Army observed 2018 as the year of disabled soldiers in the line of duty to honor their sacrifices. This is again a noble initiative. Uh, the kind of sacrifices these soldiers have done for us and they continue to do it. It's, it's remarkable. Try these. Okay, so answer again. RBI has ease on for uh, norms for FPI in uh, to invest in debt securities and corporate bond. We have you know continuously RBI is tweaking to see to that more and more investment comes into our country. European Union Film Festival. It's in New Delhi, not in any of the European countries. Kisan Craft has planned to take aerobic rice technology to five state for Kharif season. Kharif season, if you remember, R is not R, so basically K is R. That is Kharif is the rice, you know, Rabi is wheat. Okay, so Rabi wheat Kharif rice. So they will be bringing different these aerobic rice in the Kharif season five to reduce the cost of water. If you have ever seen the rice field, it's 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 you know fully first filled with water it has to be completely waterlogged and then the uh, you know saplings are planted so to reduce the dependence upon water this arabic rice technology would be used tripura has started gps which is global positioning system and wireless based 24 7 mobile police service okay nsg plenary meeting was held in zormala latvia okay here are sports news try these Okay, here are your answers. ICC has announced World Test Championship India to play first match against West Indies next year. So this is this is without disturbing. I think uh, the schedule of already existing. They have made a championship out of it. Uh, read the detail, but like there is a lot of things you you will feel like testing how some countries are playing more tests and in the part of the same championship uh, and even different home and away matches all that problem is there but let's let's hope you know things will uh, improve going forward sri lankan captain dinesh andimal gets one test suspension for ball tampering has become uh, a serious issue after what, what has happened with smith i think it all, all all started with the australian media trying to catch uh, your uh, fuff duplessy and and south africa gave it back and they gave it back in in big way and and rightly so to the australians and now now some some uh, repercussions here in even subcontinent uh, this, this is unfortunate i think he he has pleaded not guilty uh, not sure what happened and there is a lot of gray area what what do you mean by that artificial sweetener and there 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 are two uh, you know issues to be settled there okay hina sidhu topped the selection trial at cases uh, shooting uh, range she she is consistently doing well for the country let's hope you know, uh, she will bring us some some real valuable medal also very soon. Indian shuttler Kedambi Shrikant was named Sports Illustrated India Sport Person for the Year. We know how he has you know, risen through the rank in, in badminton, international badminton, I should say. India has uh, England has set new world record with incredible 481 for six. This is this is something that you should remember. So who has the world record now? It's England. Okay. Try these. Okay, I have already given you the answers here. Let me just, I think, uh, Greece, Athens, uh, Euro, that's the currency. Suriname, uh, they have still not exited. So, yeah, still Euro. Suriname is Paramaribo. Suriname is dollar. Cuba, I think, Havana, Peso. We talked about two kind of Peso in the country, convertible one and the normal one. Latvia, Riga, just remember that uh, uh, it's, it's a, a little different... Uh, and not, not something that we are used to listening. Latvia is not in news uh, often. Euro. Iceland is Reykjavik. The J here is pronounced at Y. That's in most of the Germanic root. All, all the uh, words where you see J it's, it's pronounced as Y. Reykjavik, Icelandic krona is the currency. Okay, here are your days. International Picnic Day was on 18 June, Sustainable Gastronomy Day 18 June, International Day for Elimination of Sexual Violence and Conflict this 19 June. This is this is important. All the war tour countries, uh, uh, maybe you know places like the Rohingya crisis or or something which happened uh, maybe in in Congo or or people people just forget about and 
uh, and uh, you know the plight of the woman there so this is this is just uh, a day uh, observed to see if they can do something about these these women who, who face such uh, you know bad things that happen to them world refugee day 28th june world music day 21st world international fourth international yoga day was also 21st june so now yoga with good music that's that that's how you can remember that's 21st june international olympic day that's 23rd june united national public service day this is the day when a lot of uh, united nation public service awards are also given international widows day is on 23rd june Yes, uh, so with that I will end today's session. We'll be shortly coming up with the last pending one and I've already told you the plan going forward. Thank you so much and see you again very soon.